Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. In this video, we are going to talk about big money Rushton bolos. But wait until you see what I found. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. <laughs> Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. We're just going to start with what I found, and then we're going to go into Rushton plush, vintage Rushton plush. You know, the usually sometimes they're beautiful and sometimes they're really ratty that go for crazy money and they have the rubber face. <gasps> Wait until you see this. But I'm going to show you some that sell for thousands. Let's start over here with something that I discovered during my research. Oh my goodness. So I am over here on Mercari and look at this. I am looking at solds and I am going lowest to highest on Mercari. $5 each these two sold for. $5 each. Are you kidding me? You could definitely flip those for a profit. Are you sourcing on Mercari. So the difference between eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark, I feel like this is just my opinion. I feel like there's a lot more um, people that just are hobby resellers, maybe pulling things from their home, maybe not doing as much research, not searching comps, selling on Mercari and Poshmark compared to eBay. So can you source on other platforms? Absolutely. Down in the comments, I have a link for Mercari and for Poshmark. If you join Poshmark, you're going to get $10 to shop with my referral link. If you join Mercari, you're going to get $10 to shop, but you're also going to get an additional $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari, which if you're a reseller, that's pretty easy to do. So that's $30 on Mercari to go and buy something to flip for a profit. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you this. A lot of these um, are not rushed in. I don't know if somebody is keyword spamming. They're putting stuff down in their description because Mercari searches the description. That's one thing that's kind of hard about Mercari is um, the keyword spamming. Right here, it looks like monkey plush rubber face. I don't know if that one's a rushed in or not. Um, I... Am not a Rushton expert, but in this video, I have done a deep dive into Rushton that sell for big money. I do not consider these here on Mercari very good comps. I consider these items that sold probably way too low. I do understand that some Rushton go for more money than others, but definitely if you are a collector, make sure you're checking Poshmark and Mercari. So let's go over to Poshmark. Here are some of the lower solds. Um, not as many over here. This one is a gunned rubber face teddy. I'm not sure why this popped up under Rushton. This one is a Rushton monkey vintage for 40. Uh, this one I think is Rushton, but yeah, it says it right here, $39. So just to give you an idea of what some of these things are going for on the other platforms, this one sold for 75. And we are going to get into the eBay, big money, uh, bolos, thousands of dollars, some of these Russian sell for. But first, let's look here at Mercari at some of the high solds. So there are also seasoned sellers like you and I and people that have been selling for a long time that know how to search solds. But you're going to see the highest sold on Mercari is $400. So, some of them are going for thousands on eBay. Definitely, definitely keep your eye on these platforms for collectible items. So, here's just some of the other solds. Oh, my goodness. Look at the owl. It's so cute. Now, let's go over to high solds on Poshmark. It looks like we're seeing a lot of the Santas over here on Poshmark. Lots of Santas. But again, you know, some people are seasoned sellers and they're doing their research. And sometimes people just don't care. They just want to sell the item and they want to sell it quickly. 
Um, but again, a lot of hobby sellers just selling things from their home. All right, let's go over to eBay. And let's look at this little gem right here. She is a vintage Rushton Star Creations rubber face bunny rabbit, tall, smiling face. So let's take a look at the pictures. I want you guys to notice condition of the items that go for big money. And I want you to take a look at the tag because the tags vary. Okay, so there's the first tag. Now, here is another style of tag. This one right here is a Rushton bear cat stuffed animal. Now, one thing that I'm going to recommend is do not put the slash in between, just put a space. Um, sometimes that can mess up the keyword searching uh, when you're typing things into eBay. I saw this happen with a Pyrex dish once, and I don't think that Pyrex dish got the amount of exposure it would have gotten had the title been better. So try to leave out punctuation in your titles. But really cute face, rushed in, showed up, so somebody found it that way. This sold for $1,000. $200. The octopus is one of them that I featured in another video. Some of these can go for even more than this one, but the octopus is always a home run. Look how cute it is. $1,225 on auction. And you can see here, uh, there are, you know, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. The face looks pretty good. It's an octopus in a sailor costume. Water babies rushed in 1950s, 60s marine land. And you can see right here that this item did get paid for. One thing that you can do if you're doing research and trying to figure out if something actually sold is you can go into the feedback and type it into the feedback search bar, which I would say that feature has been there for about a year, but I absolutely love it for searching feedback. And you can see that this item sold. Another thing you can do is if you don't see it in the feedback, you can check the items that are active in the seller's store because more than likely if they have a rushed in plush and it does not sell because the buyer does not pay, they're probably going to relist it. This one right here is a rushed in company rubber faced Easter bunny. Uh, plush with a bonnet and great, great condition. Some of these are so ratty, but even some of the ratty ones can go for huge money. Now, I'm just showing you some that sold for over $1,000 because they don't all sell for over $1,000. And we can kind of talk about that as well. Um, I'm looking for the tag. They did not show a picture of the tag, unfortunately, for this one. So I can't show you that. But you can see right here that this one ended up selling for a best offer of $1,000 right here. You can see it in the feedback. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, the condition. Wow. Look at the face. It is incredible. And we are going to take a peek at the pictures, see if we can find a tag. And there it is. And look how crisp. Why is it doing that? There we go. Look how crisp that tag is. That thing is in collectible condition. Wow, it's got a little issue there. But overall, $2,225 and the buyer paid shipping. Oh my goodness, shipping was $101.50? That's weird. Huh. Here's another one. This is a Rushton Company rubber face baby bunny rabbit doll. You can see that this is slashed out. So we're like, oh, what did this sell for? Here's what you do. Um, here's another one, $1,800. It's another bunny. The bunnies were hot um, in this video. $1,800 slashed out. So these two were like, hmm, what did they sell for? Well, we're gonna go over to Terrapeak and I'm gonna tell you what they sold for. So over here on Terrapeak, you are gonna type in to the title or in the search bar, copy and paste the title, both of these popped up for that. And this one here with the pink, the dark pink sold for $1,785. And the light pink sold for $1,350. Terrapeak is a great way to see what the item actually sold for. Here's another one. It is a Rushton Company Happy Rubber Face Teddy Bear Doll Stuffed Animal. Again, there is no picture of the tag. 
And let's go back over here. I don't think I looked at the tags. Let's look at the condition of this gal <laughs> stuffed animal. It's a plush. Is that kind of some dirt? I'm going to say it probably is. And it sold for over $1,000. And I don't see a tag on this one either. Let's see this one. Uh, is there going to be a tag? I wonder if that's the same seller. No tag. No tag. So neither of those have a tag. Let's move on to, we did that one. This turtle. Is it a turtle? I think it's a turtle. Vintage Rushton Co. Star Creation Rubber Face Sailor Turtle Turtle 15 inch plush original. And there's its turtle shell. How funny is that? And this guy is super rad. And I do see a tag. So let's see if they give us a close up of the tag. They're showing all kinds of pictures. That's what you need to do. Condition, condition, condition. And there's the tag. It's a little blurry, but you can see it. And here's the back of the tag. And they're showing the neck. They're just showing the condition. Usual wear has tag is what it says. You can see right here that this was a good sale, um, but we don't know what it sold for. So we're going to go over to Terapeak and do the same thing. And they took a best offer of $3,000 plus shipping on this Rushton turtle. All right. So let's go back. Um, where did I thought? Here we go. Okay. So now I am on eBay and I have gotten to the point where I am at less than a thousand dollars. So we are just going to kind of scroll through some of these other Rushton that have sold for big money. Now I am not confirming any of these. We are just going to take a peek and I'm just going to show you that Rushton sell for a lot. And there are so many different types, styles, um, conditions to look for. And you're going to find that even if they're not in great condition, they can be big money. So pick them up if you see them and you can get them for a good price. Look how cute they are. They are really cute. And I would say, so this one right here probably sold and the buyer didn't pay and then it sold again. So you see how you're seeing two in a row. Uh, that's one way to know. Let me see if I click on this one. It should say, oh, I've been getting this error and it's making me crazy because when I do the research videos, I have to sit here. This video took me forever because I had to do this on almost every listing. I'm going to show you until it popped up. So I don't know how many uh, category videos I'm going to be able to do in the future until this glitch gets uh, fixed. I'm wondering if this is hurting us in the search results because I've seen other YouTubers talking about it and I may not even get it to pull up. I did go in and clear my caches. I think that's what it's called. Somebody recommended doing that and that did help the first time, but today it did not help. And I don't think I'm going to get to pull it up. But anyway, if it would have pulled up, a lot of times it will say this item has been relisted. And that's another way to know that the item did not sell. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show that to you. But I'm really hoping that eBay fixes that problem. If anybody else is having that issue, let me know down in the comments. Um, I think Rachel Strickland talked about it on an Instagram post. Um, her YouTube channel is her name. She's also her name. Um, on Instagram, definitely check her out. She is a bolo finder, a, a friend of the channel and a friend of mine. And she is a just, she has a great reseller content. So check out Rachel Strickland. And we are just going to go through here and look at a few more. Look at this fish. How cool is that? Awesome. Great, great items. This one, pretty poor condition, not great. Or maybe it's supposed to be that color. I'm not sure. But Rushton are just fantastic. Oh, this one has the box. Wow, that is so cool. Oh, little Valentine. So let me know down in the comments, have you ever found a Rushton and what did your Rushton sell for? Um, I know got junk in our chunk. 
not in our chunk, got junk in our trunk, Rhonda. She sold one and it was featured in one of my This Is My Bolo videos a while back. If you guys have not seen that series, definitely check it out and go sub up Rhonda, got junk in our trunk. She is incredible. Um, great YouTube channel and also a great friend. So sub her up as well. I'll link them. Rachel Strickland and uh, Rhonda got junk in our trunk down below. Look at this guy. Super dirty. Let's see if it's going to let us pull it up. Nope. It's going to give us the same air. I'm not kidding you guys. This video, getting it ready. Like it should be very simple. Took forever. So frustrating. So I may have to try to figure out a different way to do the category videos because I don't have time in my life to do this for 10 minutes per listing to try to pull it up ridiculous come on ebay can you fix this there it goes it finally worked how many times did i hit that 10 now watch this it's probably going to do it again oh nope it actually worked all right let's look at this guy look how dirty he is oh my goodness just beat up and sold for 325 so let's go in to the feedback and right here it's going to say we're going to put in rushton and nothing, no feedback. So what we can do next is items for sale. And then we're going to type in Rushton. And there's nothing active. So in this situation, that tells me that that item probably sold. That is how I research for my category videos. I check the feedback. And if it's not there, I see if they relisted the item. So those are two good ways to see if the sale was actually good. Utilize Terapeak for that best offer. It's a great way to know what the item actually sold for. I showcased one the other day. And um, actually, when I was doing this video, I was looking for the ones that sold for over a thousand. And there was one that was was over a thousand. I don't know if it was 1200 or 1500. And I read the feedback because the feedback was there. And it was thanking the seller for working with them and telling them how much they really wanted the item. So I had a feeling they took a best offer. And when I went in, it the best offer was for $800. So I did not include that one. But um, that's just an example of when you see that slashed through price, that's not always an indicator of what the item sold for. So be very careful when you're researching. All right. I hope these little reseller tips and trips, <laughs> tips and trips, <laughs> tips and tricks were helpful. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Which one was your favorite? And again, if you've ever sold a Rushton, let me know in the comments what it sold for. Uh, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here, one down below. And as always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.